Cheers, boys. Cheers, man. Cheers, mate. What's going on here? What are we doing? We're sitting in the Burbank Airport, and the flight's been delayed, so we had to grab a beer. We're headed to Vegas. Can't wait. What are we doing in Vegas? We're going to be twisting the throttle and going somewhere cool. So we're flying to Vegas. We're hopping on some 2024 bikes, and we're going to ride home through some pretty rad places. Liar. He's not lying. We'll see him out there. Whatever. What's up? Hey, we made it. You know, we had a good flight. It was short, 36 minutes, even though we all three were sitting like crumpled together, but we're here. Officially an hour and 45 minutes late. Uh, we were supposed to have some major turbul turbulence. That didn't Nothing. happen. They could have served us two Bloody Marys. <laughs> and they didn't. If we drove, we actually would have been here earlier. Welcome back to the channel. We are in Boulder City. We've been here before. Coffee Cup Cafe. What's going on? Yeah, we just had a great breakfast with Kai and Lindsay. Uh, in this episode, you're going to see us run down to Shoshone, California, and then we're going to make our way up through Badwater into Death Valley in Indian Beatty. Rare occasion. There's a dry lake bed in Badwater. Apparently, it's got water in it, and so we're going to see it. I hope we see it. We're going to see it. It'd be great to see it. Yeah, hold on one second. Hi and Lindsay, come over for a second. So this is gonna be great. We're going to Death Valley. It's raining right now, but we're on these new bikes. Let's check it out. Hi. So, So we met you guys about three or four years ago when we first started the channel and you bought us breakfast then and this morning you bought us breakfast again. That's not why we called you. I know, but I, I'm allowed to. I can you, do it. You what? can. <laughs> you guys are great. I love what you guys do, you know? And look, he's even got his two-lane life hat on. One of the OGs. Yes. <laughs> you bet. So we appreciate you guys. Thanks for hosting us today. And much love you to you and the family. Yeah, hey, good. if you're hungry, thirsty, come to the coffee cup. Now. <laughs> See you down the road. Like a half tank in. G Man, what do you think of that CVOST? Man, I'm pretty impressed. I love the bar setup. It's a little different than the CVOs or the standards. It's got a little bit more of a T bar feel to it. Suspension's great. I've tried track mode. I've tried sport. <laughs> and I you mean, smoked me on sport. It. it just hooks up. I love it. Yep. LC, I'm thinking this might be your color. I'm liking the color, but they have some cool colors, so I'm not sure, you know, it's like they got a cool blue, they got some great, awesome silvers and grays, but I am kind of digging this whiskey fire, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm having fun riding. Yeah, the street glide's actually kind of growing on me. I'm digging it. It's smooth. Um, getting used to it. The bars aren't, you know, my preference, but I got my little, uh, my little to-go tray right here. I'm keeping my phone in there, keeping my riding camera in there, so... It's cool. What do we got? Uh, what do we got left, mile-wise, until at least until so the next stop? Little, we're gonna just take it easy to Shoshone, then we're gonna try and go up the back up through Badwater and see if the lake's full. Then up into Beatty tonight. So we've got until five or six tonight. Yeah, I've been looking forward to the Badwater Basin, seeing the water because I've seen that shit all over, uh, you know, Instagram and whatnot. So it should be cool. That's gonna be really great. But you know what? Tonight it's in Beatty, the barbecue restaurant. Awesome. Smoking Jays, baby. day. We've been down the road for like an hour and a half <laughs> and we're at the crow bar in Shoshone. We've been uh, what how many miles a hundred? Yeah. We better stay here for the night. <laughs> we have to get to bad water man. Let's go. Looks like some uh, homemade potato salad. Thank you. 
I'm gonna do the cheeseburger without the bun. Looks good, can't wait. Surprise, surprise, my dog got a patty melt. <laughs> I'm kind of a sucker for these patty melts, and um, another one, this one tastes great again. You know, you're on the road, you're hungry, get a patty melt. Cool little stop, just a little ham and cheese before we hit the road. I'm kind of bummed. Why? You and I were gonna go on sandwich quests. <laughs> you did, I didn't. Yeah. I'm holding up my end of the bargain, so. So we play some bets, whether or not there's uh, water in the Bad Water Basin. Well, the bill just came out to 67, no, 77, 77, 70, 70, 71. 71, so three sevens in a row. I know there's gonna be water up there. Uh -huh. I know there's gonna be water up there because it rained. <laughs> but let, let me also tell you the crowbar, it's it, here in Shoshone. That's what we found out the, the name is, Shoshone. It's not Shoshone, but someone's gonna say it's Shoshone. Yeah. You gotta come by. It's, I mean, they've redone everything. It's clean, it's beautiful. Bathrooms are great. Have a beer, they got a great bar. Grab a burger. And they, I heard them say they doubled the size of the kitchen. And I will mm -hmm. say, I'm gonna give that patty mill a 10. Oh, really? It was good. Okay. It was good. Bad water boogie. <laughs> so excited actually today we've been on two different roads that we've never been on making our way to death valley we came into Pahrump and we hung a left and now we're on the 178 we didn't go back up through where the uh the borax field is we're going to go into bad water from the bottom end here and i bet we're going to see a lake so pretty cool we've been on a couple roads we've never been on before i love that stuff it's just beautiful out here. We're riding in between the sun, the shadow, lots of great curves. The roads are pretty well paved. The bikes are perfect. I mean, no complaints. A little worried this morning about the rain, and uh, everything's all cleared. So looking forward to some Smoking Jay's barbecue tonight. You know, the cool thing is, is right now we're on 178, but it's in a, a completely other end of the side of the Sierra Nevadas because we go on 178 when we're going to Kernville. But I'm kind of stoked, and I always like this kind of stuff where we're still at home, we're in our home turf, and we're finding new spots that we've never really been on. So the adventure continues. I love it. Well, it's also pretty interesting. The Pineapple Express is hitting us at this point here the first week of, of uh, February, and we kind of missed a little of it. But it got to like 34 degrees coming out of Peru or coming out of Vegas headed towards Pahrump. I thought we were going to be in for a little bit of snow, but it's been a beautiful day. The clouds are incredible, darks, whites, beautiful. I just, it's really great, man. Yeah, and you know, when I looked down and on the dash, it said uh, freezing, and it showed a little snowflake, and it said 36. I'm like, oh, man, we're into it, but it opened up. It's great. I mean, this is great, too. Think about this. There's no cars on this road. In front of us or behind us? Yeah, man, that's why we call it two-lane life, right, brother? Exactly. I dig it. <laughs> well, we're going to work our way back into Beatty tonight after we do the Badwater experience. We'll probably try to Artiste Palette, work our way into Beatty, go to the Exchange Club where we've spent many nights, get some barbecue, head over to the Happy Borough uh, and Chili Place. Can't wait. Hey, so right now when we go into the bottom side of Badwater, do we have to come back out and go back down this road or do we just continue on? We've come down as far as the Artist Palette before on the 178 on Badwater Road. We're going to take oh. it all the way back up through Beatty. Well, we got to go on the Artist Pallet, Artist Pallet Road, that single lane. That would be really awesome today. And it may be Artiste, I'm not sure, but we, sometimes we uh, we hammer things a little bit. But I think it's the Artiste Pallet is what they call it. Beautiful. Well, let's do it. at boys something pretty damn amazing well it's pretty interesting that we've come here many times um, and we've never actually come up that direction and there's been water all the way up here 
I can't believe it from probably the last seven miles of water. Yeah. It's just amazing. More water than we've seen. Even in, in that one year we came from the Super Bloom and they had a lot of water. There wasn't this much. I don't, well, well, but we were we, up at Stovepipe Well, yeah. so there could have been. But with the drought that's been going on in California for the last 30 years, this has got to be, I think, probably a rare occasion, right? I would agree with that. I mean, last year we had a major amount of water and snow, and we already had some good storms, and, and I don't know how long this has been sitting like this. But I, I don't remember articles coming out last year like they were this year saying, hey, bad water's a lake again. Right, right. So we're, we're actually here to witness this. I don't know how often it occurs. Should have done a little studying, but at least we're here seeing it. We should walk down there Let's and do check it, it out. Well, when you get out on the two lanes, you never know what you're gonna run into. And we say, if you don't go, you won't know, but this is something spectacular with the snow-capped mountains, the sun peeking through, ripples on the water, the shadows in the water. It's just breathtaking. You know, it's just amazing to me. I mean, we just came in this road. No one was really on the road. We're on our own riding through this valley and it's like, we had a blast doing that. Now we're here, we're off our bikes, we took a little hike. I mean, again, mind blown, totally mind blown. Well, speaking of the bikes, we're on the model year 2024s. And <laughs> I mean, no one's been out this far in miles, I don't think. I know a couple others may be doing it, but today's our journey and uh, it's been a great run. I love it. Yeah, standing here at Badwater Lake. I mean, you gotta stop here and check it and take it all in because if you don't, it might not be here next year or the year after, you know? So it's like, you check it out when it's here. So in your saddlebag, you take a little piece of salt and drink some water to help purify or give your cells some water or something. I don't know, you were talking <laughs> to me about It's good for that. hydration, yes. Good for hydration. So we've got this white powder on top of the, the mud here. You went over and grabbed some when we tasted that. What was it? It was definitely salt. It was crystally. <laughs> it looked like the snow. We didn't take a lot. We just a little bit on the tongue just to see, and it was salt. Look, we hope you're enjoying this so far. We're going to work our way up into the Artis Palette. It's a single track. We've done that a couple times, but we're going to show you guys that and then get up into Beatty. And I think uh, Josh was saying on the comms, he can't wait to have Jay's barbecue. That sounds great. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, what a great day, and let's do this. Once again, here we are on Artist Pallet Road or something along those lines at Death Valley National Park. This is one of uh, one of my favorite little sections right here, ripping through the little canyons. It's a one-way road that have never been here before. What's going on? Well, you know what? It's just a, a great way to end a great day. I mean, this, this little road is, I mean, the valley views when you're up in here. And I don't know, man, I'm just having a good time. You guys are going to see why they call it uh, the artist palette in a few minutes here as we bend the corners. This thing is going to come alive with all different colors. We were just looking in the rear view mirror, seeing the Badwater Basin filled up with water. I mean, we've never seen that. So blessed to be out here looking at this stuff. And I love this hour, this twilight hour. It's going to be just grand on the way into Beatty, I'm telling you. Look at that. Look at these dips that we're going in, up and down and shadows. It's just, I, I think they, they must have had an artist come through here to make this road in here. Once we get past the pallet, it's really going to be fun getting out of here, too, because this road, it gets even tighter and more curves. Great time, my guys. We got greens and, and peaches and sandstone and love it. Uh, let's uh, maybe get off the bikes in a minute, take a look, little video shoot, and uh, we'll get out of here before the sun goes down. I mean, check out the little colors and all the crevices and, and the shadows with the way the lighting is today right now. It's awesome. So this is why they call it the palette, because you've got these different colors. And this is kind of the beginning of it. It's a little parking lot. But as we come back out and bend around the corner, this thing just opens up. You can take a little walk down here and see all these different colors. It's amazing. I mean, it's that same thing. If you don't go, you won't know. Let's do it. Let's do that. So we 
made it to Beatty, Nevada, where the locals and passerbyers have some interesting habits, shall we say. Galen? Uh, I'm going to go check us in. We're at, we're at the Exchange Club. <laughs> Where'd that guy go? Yeah. For perspective, we saw a dude absolutely jamming just rip by and do that. And now uh, I'm starting to wonder what they sell here. Well, it is a little bit of a funky town, and uh, we're here. We've been here a lot, and you know what? It's another night here, and I know it's going to be the same story. But look at that new building. What is the business? What are we working with, boys? Uh, we got a full plate of stuff. Galen did a massive order. It's not massive, but massive enough, you know, and we're going to check it out. Jay, it's one of the best places in Beatty to, to eat. Uh, Jay's Barbecue. We came here when it first opened, and, you know, we love it, and it's named after Josh. <laughs> Smoky Jay's. Um, it's one of the best places in town, and there's like three places in town, right? Yeah. You know, it's actually some killer barbecue, much better than a lot of the stuff we even tried in Texas. So, got some jalapeno cheddar sausages, some dry rub ribs, some bread, some pickles. Cold pork, a little brisket, some beans. And this tops off a really awesome day the three of us shared in the, the Death Valley that we've been here before, and we got to see some stuff we've never seen. So this is, this is a good, you know, yo. And after this, we're going to go to Happy Burrow Chili and Beer, get us some cheap drinks. So last time we were here, I remember looking at the ribs, thinking they might be a little dry. But they actually fall off the bone. Boom. Get a little cue on it. Drop it in there for some shizzle. <laughs> Do you know what's right over here across the street? No. It's something that we've never seen in our life. The Happy Burrow Chili and Beer. Yeah. You want to see it? I've seen it like <laughs> 20 times. <laughs> well, let's see it again. Look at this. So this is the whole bar, huh? Yeah, when we first uh, came here, they actually had a set of a hat with some horns on it, like a Viking hat. And we had our buddy Mike put that on and we did some pictures with them but we've come here for years it's just a great little spot they know us people are friendly they're kind and by the time we're done drinking tonight it'll be seven dollars <laughs> so we're closing it down what a great ride today uh, phenomenal opened up with uh, harley this morning um had a great breakfast with kaya and Lindsay. It was so funny how we met them a few years ago and then to have breakfast with them. I really enjoyed the ride today. It was fantastic. Right? But here we are. We're sitting in the Happy Burrow Chili and Beer. But another night. Yeah, but wait. It's 10 talk, talk about the water and bad water. Is it bad water or is it just water? We have not been on the road from Pahrump into Shoshone. Yeah. We had not been on the road, the 178, up to bad water. And to watch everything unfold today. 36, 34 degrees yeah. into the weather. Wow, oh, just and when that happens, and you have moisture in the air, and you have these clouds, white puffy clouds, gray clouds, and it clears up, and there's really no that breeze today. So you get this like amazing colors on the mountains and the rocks and the water, and then when you have the glassy water. I'm sure you guys enjoyed watching it, but when you saw the glassy water and the mountains reflecting in the bikes, today was epic, man. It's 10 o'clock at night, though. So apparently we're investing in gold mines, according to Josh, in the Happy Burrow. Yeah. But tomorrow, look forward to us just getting some great rollers. We're going to go through Stovepipe, Panama Springs, head out to 395, head home. There's a monsoonal... Hawaiian, uh, what do they call that? The Hawaiian tropical. Island, tropical it Hawaiian, was like the, the streamline. The Hawaiian Express. Know. Yeah, we'll call uh, it that. We may run into that tomorrow afternoon. This is Nevada. But this is what we're doing. We've done this. Highway 50, right here across the whole state. Uh -huh. This is about, the visual is horrible. No, this is so, great. Check out the website, twolanelife.com. We've got V-Twin parts, we've got blogs. we got everything you need. And we will see you down, see you down the road. road.
Nevada at the coffee. Well, we're here in Boulder City, Nevada at the coffee cup. Just had breakfast. I was in a different place. <laughs> uh, what was the first part? Are we at Badwater Boogie? Really? Say it again. Hope you're enjoying this video. I'm walking like a drunken sailor. This thing again. It's in your aorta. Look, hopefully we're going to work our way up into the... the...